What is up, bros? We are back with some strategic command, our Soviet playthrough, extending the Victory Day celebrations. So, it is September 11th, 1942. We had held back the German army pretty damn well, I would, I would say, all things considered. They did make it through the Baltic states, finally. They did capture Sevastopol. But all in all, we've held them pretty well, except we are developing, as you can see, a few holes in the front. We have, we've ran out of troops. But the legend of Brest-Litovsk Fortress endures. The Germans cannot unseat the Soviet troops from Brest. No matter how hard they try, they even, they've even brought in a tiger now to try to dethrone this, uh, what is it, the third Soviet army. We also had, um, we were giving it to the Finns. I think they're about to capitulate. We'll take Helsinki and they should be out. And then, we did have some British landings in Sicily. Anyways, like I said, it is September 11th, 1942. This is where we had left off. Let's go. French partisans disrupt supplies. Uh, we've got the formation of the Albanian National Liberation Front. Commies. We only lost one mechanized division, and we've got two new tank divisions. The third and the fourth uh, tanks. We'll put one here where we lost our mechanized division, and put the other... Uh, we're probably going to need some tank help down here. That looks pretty... That looks like it's getting pretty rough. All right, let's start with the fins. They're holding out. They are holding out. Took some major damage on some units. But Brest Litovsk held firm. It, ca it can't be broken. The Germans just. I mean, I don't even know what they're doing anymore. Can't break through Brest Litovsk. It is unbreakable. We don't have too many good attacks here. Ooh, that was a damn good one, though. I'm gonna move this tank up. They will never break through Brest Litovsk. This, I swear. Ooh, should I take that? That's an army that we might be able to take out completely. I think it's worth it. We did it. I'm falling back though. We don't want to go. We don't want to expose ourselves too much. Yeah, let's move up. If we can throw some damage down on an aircraft, we're gonna do it. Nice guys. Very nice. Oh. Oh, another. Come on. Another army. Well, after healing all the troops I can, that leaves us with 399. I'm saying we're just going to buy some meat shield cores. That'll give us three meat shield. That should close the gap that's been created. The loss of Palermo lowers Italian national morale. The Allied occupation of Syracuse lowers Italian national morale. We lost a garrison. That would have probably been the one at Sevastopol. We got the 26th Army. I didn't even see that. It is November 6, 1942. Let's start on the Finnish front, and I think we got him. We may got him. Come on. I just had a feeling that they were going to come through. That should get them to capitulate, I'm pretty sure. Brest Litovsk held on. I mean, that's no shocker now at this point. I mean, it's going to be a shocker if it actually falls. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, that's right. You better retreat. Hey, you know what? We could probably move up a little bit. I don't know who this is. This is... It's Lieb. 
Oh, I'm going in on Lieb. I am go- Oh, man, this is a hard decision. Let's do it. Lieb just goes down. Ha! Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. I knew it. I still ask to this day, why is cavalry even a thing in this game? It doesn't make sense. It's like, it does nothing. Oh, check that hit out. I mean, it is winter. You know the Soviets fight their best during winter. It's the winter uh, counterattack. Thank you. I would say let's go a couple more armies. Obviously, you're supposed to build some armies playing as the Soviet Union. Because they have a crap load of them. I mean, they hardly have no uh, tanks, heavy tanks. Um, really, no, not that many cores, but just a crap ton of armies. So that's telling you something. Spam armies. That's going to wrap up November 6th, 1942. Finland should capitulate, which means we can move these troops off of that front. Um, and then we have our cores, our three cores coming up next round. So if we can just hold the front another round, we can fill in the spots that have been broken. A boom! Finland surrenders! Soviet Union plunders some coin. Finland's surrender hits German national morale. Ha! Hilarious. Oh, sh we lost our first anti-air. That was um, defending Rega. Shit. There's our cores. Yep, the anti-air got wrecked. All right, let's attack first, and then we'll worry about where to put our cores. Go ahead and get our general moving down towards there. Voroshilov. Nailed it. All right, we got an army here. Where do we need this army? Probably against... Right here. Yeah, this this tiger gave our tank a little bit of what for. And we took a lot of damage. We The Soviet army may bend, but it does not break. Let's move this bro up. Move this bro in. They got some strength in them. Nice! We've recaptured! Lost territory! I don't know why we're doing so well all of a sudden. It's that winner counterattack, it has to be. They get, the Soviets get a winner buff. That has to be what it is, they get the winner buff. I think that's going to be a wrap on December 4th, 1942. We can now place our cores. Looking for good... Oh, we can't even place any through here where we actually need them. Uh, we'll throw one here. Throw one down here to help out with Sevastopol. And we'll throw the other one... Uh, let's throw him up here. British Royal Marines attack shipping at Bordeaux. Noise in canoes. Soviet morale improves as the war on the Eastern Front continues as Brest Litovsk holds out. Operation Tempest is launched to support the Warsaw Rising. Warsaw Rising, the Polish Home Army attack the German occupier. Nice. A little bit of help from some Polish bros. Now we just sit back and watch them get slaughtered. Do nothing. We lost 
the 18th army. All right, we got the 16th army, the first guards army, and the sixth tank. First guards army, that just sounds cool. We're gonna put him right there. Our other tank, and three up here. Let's even it out, put a fourth up here. And our other army, we will throw, throw them up here. Perfect. You know what I forgot to do? I just realized because I got 1300. I forgot to buy anything last round. Might have, if I could just break through here and attack those generals, that would be sweet. Oh! Another German army goes down. Big pee pee. I mean, look! They're not even messing with Brest Litovsk anymore. They backed off. They haven't even moved up for like, what, two months? The Southern Front. It's evolved into like just two, two fronts. The, the entire middle here around Brest Litovsk is completely quiet. It was a hard lesson learned. It took a while for them to learn it, but they get it now. And now the poor Romanians are getting hammered. Romanians fighting back a little bit. To try to cut them off, I don't think that'll work. But I think it's worth a shot. I think they'll probably just murder us, but hey. We tried. We're getting no good hits out of this. Give the Sevastopol bro, the uh, 43rd Army, a little bit of backup. The first shock army. That's gonna that's gonna change the tide of warfare. Let's grab a heavy tank. Let's spend like we've got all this money that we don't. Look at what Germany did. They didn't want to pull their good troops off the Eastern Front, so they sent Hungarians and Romanians and some more Hungarians and an Italian uh, garrison. January 1st, 1943. has come to an end, but look at Britain. They're starting to build up a nice force. A nice looking D-Day force. The Greek partisans are still doing their thing. Not too much longer, bros. FDR and Churchill meet in Casablanca to demand unconditional surrender. Oh, USSR develops advanced tank level three. Insurrection against the Axis in Naples as Allied forces approach. Operation Axis. Germany seizes Italian territory after Mussolini is removed from power. Italian partisans attack Axis supply lines. It's not looking too good for Germany right about now. Allies liberate Albania. What? Allies liberate Greece. We lost nothing. We lost nothing, which probably means we're heavily damaged. Uh, yeah, we took some damage in through here. Did they leave? Bros, they just left Sevastopol open. I can't believe they just left that open like that. It makes no sense. I'll never understand what happened there. When in doubt, attack the Romanians. And just keep attacking them. Yeah, I'll take that. We ended up even. I'm okay with that. Because they got... They got one more uh, tank development than I do. See, we don't have too many good attacks here. Okay, we got some decisions to make here. Obviously, they are not approaching Brest-Litovsk anymore. 
So does that mean we should move up? You know what? Let's take a core and just see what happens. Alright, we have ran into Von Bach. We're having good luck in the south. Damaging their units, but up here we can just... We can't catch a break. We just used a lot of money. Healing up, but uh, we definitely want to try to keep up with the Germans in tank technologies. So we gotta spin what little left on advanced tank. That's gonna be a wrap on January 29th, 1943. Sevastopol has been recaptured. The first major city recaptured from the Germans. And uh, they're gonna have to pull truce off the Eastern Front to send into Greece and Albania, which is gonna make it easier for us. And it looks like the Germans have formed the Gothic Line in Italy. And the U.S. landed where they are not even needed. You're a little bit late. Africa's already been cleared. Ukrainian nationalists attack Red Army units near Kiev. Jeez, thanks guys. Trying to do you solid here. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose that tank. Holy shit! What the F, Ukraine? Bros, we lost no troops. I'm beginning to think that the game kind of buffs the German troops in, say, 41, 42, and then evens the playing field in 43. Did we save that tank? He made it. I thought for sure because of the damn Ukrainians we would lose that, but we managed to save it. Damn, this guy almost... We almost lost some troops. We lucked out. There's a few lucky outcomes in that round. Hold on a sec. They... Who is that? Clutcher. You know, they left this open like... I think we got a chance here. We... I don't know why I attacked. I was so happy I didn't even look at the outcome before I attacked. You know what? Um, I think we have an opportunity to cut those bros off. Let's try to cut these guys off. The, you, we all know. The Soviet Third Army can handle their own business. They don't need any backup. I still want to try this encirclement. I'm not giving up on this encirclement. I think we can get... I think we can pull it off. We just need to close in on him. We did have a new army to place. Uh, you know what? Let's back up our bros, the third army. They don't need it, but we'll just do it anyways. Look, the special forces aren't that expensive. We can grab one of those. February 26, 1943, coming to an end. I think we've got an opportunity to pocket all the German troops in the Baltic states. Um, we have a chance to pocket these troops. And we may have already pocketed these, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they can just break right out. Only one loss in the entirety of all allied fronts. It's not just the Soviet Union. There's no losses going on. Oh, we get the first shock army. Who wants a good shocking? Well, if you're truly going to test out the shock army, why don't you go up against a tiger? We have a chance. For an encirclement here. What do I want to... I don't I guess we tr I don't we might I don't think anybody can move up though is the problem now yeah damn it well we almost had an encirclement but their supplies can't be good damn we got close though and shit, we can attack the- oh, damn, they have a- 
Luthwaffe is pretty thick. That should... Yeah, we just cut them off. Ha! Once the Allies landed in Italy, and especially after Albania and Greece got their independence, this thing turned around. It's like a complete, it's like a completely different game now. Holy shit, look at that. I'm gonna go for it. It was totally worth it. It was so, it was so worth it. Damn, look at this. See what I mean? It's like totally different. The damage we're putting out. I mean, we just officially cut them off. March 26, 1943. Okay, I put myself in a position where I could possibly lose some troops. But I think it was completely worth it. The Commonwealth Party gains ground in the UK, winning their first election. USSR develops industrial technologies, and guess what? I forgot to buy the HQ. Damn it. The fall of Singapore hits British morale. Japan celebrates the capture of Singapore. Burma surrenders. Malaya surrenders. Fall of Singapore, Allied stronghold, surrenders to Japan. Warsaw Ghetto Uprisings. Yeah, we lost the fifth tank. I knew we would at least lose one, but look at it this way. We just surrounded them. And this poor 13th Army just keeps getting just absolutely manhandled. Maybe try to win one. We are driving them back. Yeah, I'm, that was a ballsy move. I shouldn't have done that. I, I don't know why I did it. I was excited. Stuff's going so well. Okay, this would take two damage. The shock army takes one, gives one. That's pretty good. I mean, it ain't as shocking as I would have hoped for, but it's still a little bit of a shock. And let's see what kind of damage we can do here on surrounded units. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Got him. Excellent. It's been a while since we uh, were in Odessa. I recall the, the good times. We used to hang out in Odessa. It was a simpler time. Damn, that pocket just got wrecked. Q upgrade all the way. The command and control. Let's go ahead and grab that. And our production technology. Uh, industrial technologies. Let's grab industrial. Purchase the HQ. Who do we want? I, I've i got to go Rokosovsky. That's my boy. They're going to start probably having some more tigers. So we better throw down some heavy tanks. Oh, that went to the IS. Yeah, the third upgrade is it going to the IS. Yeah, I don't know why, but... The Allies are making this like their airfield. They're just bringing all their planes in. To the Balkans. And nobody's attacking them. It is April 23rd, 1940. 
43 and as you can tell by the Eastern Front Germany is not looking too healthy anymore they're looking pretty ill their line is in utter disarray I mean we started this out we kind of look like what Germany does now the roles have completely reversed themselves the landings in Italy the air landings in the Balkans the US has some troops I don't know what the hell they're doing with them yet and it looks like the British are still building up for D-Day bros and I am going to wrap it up there if you are enjoying this content you know what to do slap the like and subscribe hit the notification bell and I will see you back here for our next upload peace Illuminati.